it would help if I record. That's how tired I am, how much I'm in pain, how sore I am. From my workout yesterday was good but horrible because you feel that burn, that burn that you work out yesterday and you feel it more the next day, you know you got a good workout. And I got a hell of a good workout. So we are starting a new diet as of today, going on to next Friday. Gonna try to lose two more pounds. We have about five and a half weeks, less than 40 days, give or take, I think it is, since till show day um, competition. So we are gonna switch to kale, kale lettuce, cow lettuce, uh, K-A-L-E lettuce. It's basically kind of like normal iceberg lettuce, but get a little more protein in and a little more calories. It's like 80, ca uh, 80 calories for, uh, I think it was 100 grams of 100 grams and six grams of protein something like that. So I'm gonna be having that with some cheese, some low fat cheese. And we're gonna do about six ounces of shredded chicken. So we're definitely gonna be cooking a bunch of chicken up tonight. Have that for Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, and then have that for the whole entire week. Try to at least. Cause I love chicken. Steak, I like it, I get sick of it chicken i love it i can eat it all the time i've ate it for six weeks straight before i love chicken so um that's pretty much what we're gonna do is uh low calorie high protein and we're gonna have vegetable pretty much lettuce with chicken and might maybe once in the middle of the week maybe make like a pulled pork chicken make with the shredded chicken and put some barbecue sauce on it with low calories or zero calories, um, zero sugar as well. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do because I weighed in yesterday at 137 pounds. So I'm still at 137. And 135 without my clothes on because I've been doing it with my clothes on, which I should have did without, but that's how I've been doing it. So technically we're at 135. Like I said, I want to lose seven more pounds. We'd like to get under 130 by the competition. And I need to lose a bunch of uh, fat too. So trying a very lean cut as much as I can with all the cardio working out I can do. It is a struggle. It is challenging, but we're not giving up regardless. I get all the comments all over Facebook, you know, oh, you look small, you're tiny. Yeah, I am small. Yeah, I'm not tiny, but yeah, I am. You know, I'm five foot two. What do you expect? Um, I'm not trying to be 800, 200 pounds, you know, of pure muscle. I like to get down to 120, put 10 pounds of lean muscle on. So my body looks like I'm a lot bigger, you know, than I actually, for my size. So the goal is to get down to 120, give or take, and then build 10 pounds of muscle. Pretty much do a cut phase and then bulk up, which I bulked up before and that was the easy part. Ain't gonna lie. Bulking is the easiest because you can eat all kinds of food that you want that are healthy, you know. You're not watching your macros. You're not watching how many calories you're eating per meal you know, 750 calorie burrito in the morning compared to a 400 calorie burrito in the morning with 27 grams protein or 35 grams protein. So, you know, when you're at the cutting phase, it is a whole lot harder, especially with talking to some people in the gym, you know, cause as you work out, you know, you meet new people. I've already met a couple people, pretty cool guys, and I see them every day. So it's one of those, hey, how's it going? It's kind of one of those motivations too, you know, like, hey, you see him in there every day. Pretty much someone you can like go up to, talk to, hey, how's your day going? Kind of a thing like that. 
Um, Cause the gym is the nice thing about that is, you know, you can pretty much make new friends while you're in the gym because you start working out or you start talking um because like literally we just randomly started talking one day and was like hey how's it going this and that and we just started talking and it's like yeah i'm on this competition thing and he has a son that goes works out with him and all that so it's kind of cool you meet definitely can meet new people in the gym that have that same mindset that same focus and maybe eventually have like a workout buddy even as well so me i don't have that so i don't got somebody that can be like hey we're going to the gym we're fuck we're fucking doing it we're going to the gym regardless um so for me it's a lot more disciplined because i have to force myself like i'm going regardless of how tired i am how worn out i am throughout my whole day of work because my work kicks my butt 90 percent of the time i do a lot of running around lifting tires oil changes tire rotations all that stuff so my work has a lot of cardio involved already and we're gonna try to eventually get into maybe a morning workout if I can get up at 4 a.m., go to the gym at 5, be done by 6.30, which would be perfectly plenty of time, which would work out great. Because I get up at 4, get ready, make some breakfast, leave at the house at 5 or 4, you know, let's say 4.45, be at the gym at 5.15, be done right about 6.30, let's say, give or take, shower real quick, and... By seven o'clock I'm at work because my work in my gym is maybe six minutes give or take six minutes to seven minutes and I think I might try to do that as well I'm gonna try to do it tomorrow in the morning because I start work at eight o'clock and so I'm gonna try to get up at five yeah, say probably 5 o'clock, be out of the house, try to be at the gym by 6. So 6.30 comes around, or 6 o'clock, um, yeah, seven, 6 o'clock comes around, or 6.30 comes around, you know, I'm ready to be out of the gym, or even if it's 7 o'clock. Yeah, sorry, 6 o'clock, get to the gym, 7.30, I'm out of the gym, I'm up here by work by 8 o'clock. So we might see how that goes. If not, we may try to start to do it on Sunday. I don't know. Either way, got to figure it out. We are going to eventually buy a jump rope. I can do jump ropes at my gym, which is nice because um, that will be a lot more cardio. You burn about 100 calories every 10 minutes, give or take, depending on how of a high of a intensity of a workout you do. So that's going to help. They'll burn some more calories, hopefully some more fat as well with having the heart rate up to the 140, 150 and go from there. So I'm going to hop off on here. Like I said, it's Friday and we got out. We're going to be at the gym right about 430, give or take, uh, get ready to get my workout in. We are probably going to, I can't either gonna do biceps first or back I think I'm gonna do um I might do bicep um back first just so I can get more of a workout in because I need to perfect my back muscles and try to build some muscle on that so other than that stay tuned and I will let you know exactly how that goes and go from there and also appreciate all the new subscribers I think uh, we got like three or four more subscribers so far, excuse me, this week. And also make sure if you're subscribing, please ring that bell because about 90% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed to my channel. So that would be much appreciated if you guys and girls could hit that ring on that bell and y'all know get notifications. So y'all have a good weekend and 
go with that gym and be safe.